thought we'd get the party started. Oh. I have zero doubt that it's not gonna my wife tonight. What will the woman do when they step out of the limo on night one of The Bachelor? Hey guys, and welcome to Shared News. We are days away from Zach's premiere, and I'm so excited to see what these women will bring on night one. So we're gonna get all into it. So welcome to our channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I'm your host, Zachary Reality, with Kayla T. Kayla, days away <laughs> from the premiere. Is there like a favorite limo entrance that you can remember, you know, throughout the years or just like the classic <sighs> one that you would do if you were on the show? Oh my gosh, what a good question. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the costumes. I feel like I want, you know, especially for the women, I want them to come out, show off their dresses, show off their natural beauty. But I do love something clever, like um, maybe the buzzer handshake, just something funny, like simple mm -hmm. that can, you know, make the bachelor remember you. That's something that maybe I would do. Um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, something like <laughs> that. I don't know. What about you? <laughs> I mean, I think the classic like one liners usually works well if you have like a funny joke that relates to them on their season or exactly, even just like yeah. something memorable or sentimental if you bring like a necklace or a watch. But one of the entrances yes, that always sticks yeah. out to me is Queen Victoria mm -hmm. from Matt James's season. Now she had a crown. She had guys holding her and they carried her in. <laughs> and I mean, I think that's how I would probably do it because I love making an mm -hmm. entrance. So mm -hmm. that's what I want to see. But I don't know yeah. what we're going to get because that doesn't always work. It depends on what The Bachelor is looking for. I have to put it's you true. to the test. Do you th think of a okay. funny line, if you can? What What do you think these girls should say to Zach? Like, we know he's from Rachel's season. Okay. He has a famous uncle. He got broken right. up. Well, he actually broke up with Rachel because, you know, she didn't feel like he was ready. But it turned out like she really wasn't ready. He's a nice guy. Right. From Texas yeah. and Orange County, what should the women say to him to grab his attention? Do you have a pickup line? Oh, my gosh. Zach, you're really putting me to the test. <laughs> um, you got this. <laughs> that's the kind of thing I have to sit and think about. But I would definitely, if I were doing something funny and clever, it has something to do with, like, I wouldn't leave you after a night. You know, something like that. Like how Rachel <laughs> broke up with him after the fantasy suite. Or you're not too old for me or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. but honestly, my prediction is we're going to get a lot of girls saying like, I'm here for you. I'm so happy that it's you. And, uh, yeah, I think they're just going to be like, like, Oh, Zach is just such a sweet guy. And it's going to be more like, I'm so glad it's sweet Zach, you know? But I don't yeah, know, that's, yeah. what I would, that's what probably I would say. <laughs> I mean, I just want someone to show up like in a llama costume, like from Emperor's New Groove, which is one of the roles his <laughs> uncle played, his famous uncle. So I think yes. they, somebody needs to make reference to that. Um, but yeah, we have a few true. clips here. That'd be smart. Um, we're going to watch <laughs> them and see if we can kind of predict or see what the women are doing and react. So let's watch our first clip. Monday. I licked it, so now it's mine. The Bachelor is back. <laughs> okay, so we only Whoa. saw one girl. She licked his ear? Right? His neck, I think. Oh, okay. Let's, we have the slum. No, it yeah. looks like yeah, his neck. So she says, I licked yeah. it, so now it's mine. So I guess she's just talking about, like, Zach. Is that, like, a reference or something or a phrase? Like, I've never I'm, heard of this. I was going to ask you. I have no idea. Maybe, like, just um, it's her way of marking her territory. Like, I touched it. It's mine. Which is, like, everyone's going to kiss him. So I don't really get where she's. <laughs> I don't really get it. Yeah. I mean, like, kind of weird. I think the tongue, the tongue kissing is definitely like in these days with like Courtney and Travis who started that trend. But licking someone <laughs> that you just met, I personally yeah. think is disgusting. I've been out before yeah. and like, if I'm talking to, like, if, if you just meet a guy and they want to kiss you, like, if they're putting their tongue anywhere near, like, that's just gross. Like, I don't think this is yeah. cute at all. I think she should go home. <laughs> No, honestly, not. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be played off very lightheartedly. But to be honest, this is one yeah. of those things where I'm like, if the genders were flipped, this would be borderline very inappropriate. Like you are kind of intruding on his personal space. I'm sure he didn't know you were going to lick his neck because he'd probably be like, please don't do that. Like you're kind of. Yeah. Oh. 
it's risky. You know, I wouldn't we do it if I we've was had her. contestants. We've had contestants like um, kiss the bachelor before, like even if it was just like a or like on the cheek. But I think licking is just yeah. like a whole nother like licking is form of it's too much. Totally it's not the same as like much. your lips being closed. So yeah. I don't know who she is, but she needs to go home immediately and go right <laughs> to paradise. OK, let's watch our next clip. I thought we'd get the party started. Oh. I have zero doubt that it's not going to my wife tonight. Oh, my God. Well, we've heard that before. Wow. Um, zero doubt. Right. OK, so let's <laughs> do a couple sure. others of, of a couple other of these entrances. We saw a champagne moment. Um, what do you think about that? Because I remember the champagne yeah, on Pilot it. Pete season. It did it did not go over well. Do you remember the drama with Kelsey and Hannah Ann? Yes, I did. I forgot about that. Um, I think mm -hmm. for this one, maybe who knows? Maybe she is first out of the limo. That was like That's my first thought. Yeah, it's like let's get the party started. She's first out of the limo, and that way I think it's kind of like sweet and cute. As long as no one else does it, which I, I'm sure they won't, I think it'll be like, oh, that was a memorable way to start it off. And like pretty, yeah. like something memorable with something safe, like not too much, you know? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. And it looks like they have glasses. So she what, she gets the first toast. I'm assuming she's the first two. The dress is pretty. Um, let's look at a yeah. couple other of these limo entrances from this clip. I think I saw um mm. a cheerleader at one point but is this a cow or a pig yes. and that's a pig <laughs> cow duh okay that's I'm, a little it's pig um i'm trying to think okay. if someone was like worked on a farm or has like any mm -hmm. like background of being raised on a farm i can't remember from the bios um if someone yeah. did you well, remember anyone from the south maybe there's plenty of girls from the south so i'm sure it's someone right. who grew up on a farm and it means something to her unless like she just likes pigs or maybe that's her pet pig As for all we know like it could pig, be yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's creative i think it's cute um would you rather mm. you know bring in a pig or would you do this cheerleading thing i probably would rather bring in a pig i don't like having to perform on the spot i don't like the idea of having to perform <laughs> on the spot in this kind of limo entrance thing when people sing or mm. do a dance or do a cheer i'm like i'm always cringing that they're gonna like fumble or mess up but if they pull it off, it's really cute and fun. But um, so hopefully yeah. it works for these two women who uh, I guess are dancing and cheering. I mean, there's so many ways to go about these limo entrances. Like you could be the fun girl yeah. who brings warm and positive, welcoming energy. Like that could be a great way to put yourself out there. Or you could be the sexy girl that mm -hmm. comes in, doesn't say much, is very flirty and promiscuous, and then, you know, walks away. Or you could be crazy and, you know, bring a pig in. So <laughs> there's a lot of different ways to play it. Do you, do you, I mean, we don't know too much about Zach, but like, what do you think he prefers or what do you think he's what do you think would stand out to him on night one what type of girl yeah from what i know of zach i think what's going to stand out to him is someone who is being authentically themselves and not forcing anything but did something thoughtful that would make him remember them and not just hey my name is kayla i'm so glad it's you so i think finding a yeah. fine line of like cool calm confidence but doing something that made him be like, wow, that was that was clever mm -hmm. or that was thoughtful. I think that's going to go a long way for Zach. Yeah. Like, hi, my name is Kayla. It's nice to meet you. I loved you on Rachel's season. I think you're great. <laughs> Can't wait to get to know you better. I'll see you inside. See you inside. That's like the yeah, OG. Gonna, yeah. I don't know. The OG classic fly. limo entrance. Probably yeah. not. He'll think okay. It's we cute, have one but more clip. Not enough. He might. <laughs> Um, let's check out our last clip. There might be some drama night one, actually. Who, go figure. Mm, it's The Bachelor. See. I didn't expect this. Let's look. Drama starts night one. I don't want to know if you kiss. <gasps> I'm here for him. Have you ever heard of friendly competition? If this continues, I will leave. Lovely secret is <laughs> okay. okay, so one girl is upset, yelling at another one about possibly kissing Zach night one. We've seen Leeds kiss night one. And I don't think it's mm -hmm. like the move to tell all the girls in the house that you kissed him night one. Like, I think that just puts a target yeah. on your back. It could come across as like you're trying to show off to the girls that you're off to a head start. So I'm already on mm -hmm. the other girl's side who seemed triggered. But I also didn't, don't think it's worth giving someone that much of your reaction unless they're really bugging you. For sure. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think already starting off night one with, you know, 
telling the girls, the other girls, what you and Zach did privately is just not a good look. It, it's not a good look and it's not a wise idea to start off your bachelor journey. I think you have to be able to separate your relationship with the other contestants and your relationship with, with the lead. So I think just not a good move, not smart. And if you're just doing it to stir up drama, I'm not a fan. Just, yeah, I'm not feeling it. So definitely on the other girl's side, like yeah. you said. And this girl looks like she's wearing a sweater. So who knows if this is even night one? I mean, it I could know, be true. twisted um, unless she got yeah, really cold. But <laughs> we did see Zach yeah. kissing two girls. So mm-hmm. I think the record is like five or seven. I'm sure okay. Bachelor Data or Game of Roses knows. Yeah. But I can see sure. Zach kissing three girls night one. That's my guess. Yeah, I was going to say my my guess is probably the cap would be at least four. If he kisses more than four girls, okay. I'll be surprised. But if they go in for it, I don't see Zach like telling them no. I feel like he wants to give everyone a shot. So it depends on if the girls are going to be really forward. Um, but yeah, we'll have yeah. To see. I'm surprised, though. I don't know why I was surprised watching it. Like my reaction was like, wow, he's kissing like three different people just in this 10 second preview um but <laughs> he's doing yeah, all that. i don't know it should be interesting you know i wouldn't yeah. i'm not mad at girls for kissing him night one i feel like if you want to feel if there's a connection and you're just like really curious and you don't want to mm-hmm. waste your time like there's nothing wrong with like a little kiss if the energy is there but i don't really think it should be mm-hmm. forced i think that maybe Absolutely. after like three weeks you could kind of force a kiss because then you're like what am I doing here I need to kiss him to see if I like it yeah but yeah but night one it's about feeling it out so if there's a connection and Mm -hmm. you want to kiss I'm not mad at it and that goes for Zach or any of the girls yeah 100% and I think when we watch when I whenever I watch and there's a kiss like if there is a kiss that's like girl you did not have to kiss like you forced it that kind of makes me a little like I think that might turn him off. But if it's in the moment, like you said, and it feels right, then I think that could actually push you really far ahead. So we'll have to watch and see when, you know, the premiere um, airs, you know, how the kisses flow, because I think we'll be able to, to figure out kind of who might go far and who might be out. So I'm actually interested yes. now after watching this. Yeah, we're definitely going to check it out. And we'll let you know our thoughts next week. So comment down below what you guys are anticipating and expecting on the premiere of The Bachelor. Who do you think will get his rose? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you're always updated on all things Bachelor Nation. I'm your host, Zachary Reality. You can follow me on my socials. They're all at Zachary Reality. And this is my lovely co-host, Kayla. Kayla, where can they find you? You guys can come say what's up to me on Instagram at Kayla Thompson or on TikTok at the Kayla Thompson. Thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.